What's up? It's Christian from Vision 6D and today we are going to talk about task relationships or task links. It's all those links that we see between tasks. We have different kinds of relationships between tasks. It might sound a bit uh, difficult to understand, but in reality it's really simple and it's more to find the right example that is more difficult. So the project I'm going to use is an event. You are going to prepare an event with a cocktail and then a dinner. For that, you see here down, I have the dinner. The dinner is here set at 7.30 p.m. Before, we have a welcome cocktail here, which is from 6.30 ongoing, or maybe even 6. And before, we have dinner preparation, and we have also the preparation of the welcome cocktail. So this is the event that we are going to use. Something specific that I'm using here, so since it's based on a day, uh, I needed to have more visibility on the hours. And you see that the hours are not the normal working hours. So in order to do that, you need to change two things. One is the calendar on which you work. It has to be the 24-hour calendar and the time which is shown it's with the hour. So I have an additional video which is about setting the time in which you can learn those two points. When we schedule the tasks, I will do it the normal way or the most common way we do it. I will schedule the dinner by selecting the three tasks of the dinner, which is serve the first plate, serve the second plate, and then dessert. And I'm coming here up into tasks, and what I'm going to say is that I want to link them one after the other one, since it is in the chronological order. So you see that they were linked together and you see here that we have one red spot appearing. So why is that red spot? It's because the total time here is exceeding the time I had said it should finish in the first place. So we have a total time of 2 hours and, 50, and 30 minutes. Sorry. So, in order to correct this, I'm going here to come and simply change this to auto scheduled. And you see now that we have the dinner that is really scheduled and Microsoft Project is scheduling it as soon as possible. So I have to come and to correct this here manually, here inside, and I'm going to shift this to 7.30 and we see now that it is in place it has switched back to um, manually scheduled but with the correct times and we can say that it's going to end at 10 p.m. So now that we have this in place, we are going to look at how this is happening. And we see here that the second plate is taking as predecessor here the number 14, which is the first plate. So I'm going into it by right clicking and going into information here. And you see that within information, I'm interested by the predecessor. So no surprise, it's the number 14, which is serve first plate. What interests me is what we see here under the type. It's a finish to start relation. And I'm going to click here to give you the view on how we are establishing the relationship type. It's here, it's under type that we selected. So what does it mean exactly? The relationship here between those two tasks is a finish to start. What does it mean? What is important is to understand that we have a first task 
and the second task which is the successor and what we are going to define is the link here in between to understand this really well we understand here that we have the finish point of the first task and here we have the start point of the next task what it means a finish to start it's that the direction of the relationship goes from the finish point to the start point of the next task for the cocktail we will offer drinks and we will serve finger food here initially they were set both to one hour but I think it's better to start maybe earlier a bit with already the drinks and then to bring the finger food of course what I want is that both finish at the same time so I will make the change by saying that it is now lasting 90 minutes you, you see and I'm going also to change the time here that it comes to I've changed the time that it comes now to 6 so we see that the, the two are now placed as they should be so what I'm going to, to say it's that for the serve finger food task which is here its predecessor is offer drinks offer drinks is the number 11 you see and it's going to put me the default value which is a finish to start what I want is to make sure that if there is any change in the planning that I have the two tasks finishing at the same time so once again it's what we call the finish to finish relationship between those two tasks the first one is going to finish and to have its finish point linked to the successors one also to the finish point so we are back into the serve finger food task which is number 12 and its predecessor it's the number 11 offered drinks that we have here and we had the default value so i'm going here to change this and to say that what I want now is the finish to finish relationship with that in place we see that now we have an arrow here down indicating when the, the finish is going to be and we also have here the two that are aligned on the finish to finish relationship the start to finish relationship between two tasks is a bit different we have a first task and the second task and you see here it's the second task that has its start point here linking backwards to the finish point of the first task this is a situation when we do back planning so we are doing backward planning so if I take the case of the dinner and the dinner preparation what I know is that the dinner preparation has to be finished before we can start the dinner so that is to say that we are in a situation where the dinner is backward linking to dinner preparation so what I'm going now to do is to take, for example, here, table and room preparation and go into the information of that task. And here within, since we are in that backward relation, I'm going to say that the number 14, which is the dinner, here, is in a start to finish relation and expect what will happen so we see here on the diagram that everything has really moved as expected 
in the sense that tables and room preparation are linked now backwards from the dinner with this we'll be able to have everything prepared when it is important here. I will now reduce the time on the table and room preparation to here something like four hours which will reflect more the real situation and I have the two other things you see that for food and drinks ordering we could say two hours and here food and drink delivery we could also say two hours and now we are going to say that those three here are linked together with that you see that it is following the constraint we have here which is clearly shown here with that start to finish on task 40. I will now also establish the same kind of relation for the cocktail part. That is to say that I'm taking here drinks preparation, double clicking on it, and I'm directly here into the predecessors, and I'm going to say that the predecessor is the welcome drink with the number 11. And here I'm also going to change the relationship to start to finish and now we'll see and we see that immediately here drinks preparation has been aligned with here down the cocktail part another relationship is the start to start this says it as it has the two tasks have to start at the same moment. I see here that I have linked the start point of the first task with the start point of the predecessor or in the reverse direction from the second task to the predecessor. Now we'll go into the diagram and look how we do this. During the welcome cocktail preparation you see that we have the aperitif buffet preparation task. So what I'm going to say is that this task has to start at the same time as the drinks preparation. For that I go into aperitif buffet and I'm saying that the drinks preparation, which is the task number six here, has to have with it a start to start relationship and we see now that immediately the two tasks are connected together with that we've gone through all those four kinds of relationships between tasks I hope that my examples were good enough that you could understand it better so if you find better examples, I'm ready to get them through your comments. You appreciated it, so thumb up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and I'm happy looking forward to meet you in another video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.